Welcome to Rolling in Rhythm Part 2. In Rolling in Rhythm Part 1, we focused on circumstances in which 16th notes are the best rhythm to use for hand motion while doing a roll. So those circumstances include simple time, when the time signature, the bottom number is 4, so 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, quarter note gets the beat, and also when the tempo is relatively moderate, like between 92 beats a minute and 158 beats a minute or so. So today we're going to cover the, some of the circumstances in which that does not work. And uh, those circumstances are going to include when the tempo is too slow or when the tempo is too fast. So if the tempo is too slow, then the 16th notes are not fast enough for the buzz sounds to blend together to make a roll that sounds good. And when the tempo is too fast, 16th notes are just too fast. It's more work than necessary for you to move your hands that quickly. So for example, if we have a half note roll, when we did rolling in rhythm part one, the lowest tempo that we did is 112. So let's do that, 112 for a minute. One, two, three, four. So you can see that that works just fine. But if we back the tempo off down to, let's say, 72, for example, and we try that, we'll actually try the half note rolling exercise that we did in the previous video. 3E and a 4E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3, 4, 1E and a 2E and a 3. Now we're moving too slowly for 16th notes to be a good solution. So we need to speed up our rhythm. The slower we're going, the faster the rhythm we need to use. And the faster the tempo's going, the slower the rhythm we need to use. So that's what we're going to focus on today. So the first direction that we're going to go in for this video is tempos that are too slow for 16th notes to work, which means that we're going to have to speed up the rhythm that we're doing, relatively speaking, when we move our hands for the roll. So what we're going to use first is a tempo range between 66 beats per minute and 88 beats per minute, roughly speaking, but that's the range that we're going to do for the purposes of this video. And the rhythm that we're going to use to move our hands in for that tempo range is 16th note triplets. So here is the exercise for the half note roll with 16th note triplets written out as the motion. You can see the motion on the left and the roll on the right. And just like in rolling in rhythm part one, the motions are written out again underneath the first half of the exercise and underneath the second half of the exercise with stems down. If you want an effective way to count this rhythm, you, there is no method to count every single individual note now that our hands are moving so many times per beat. But what you can do is put a one at the beginning of the first triplet and at the beginning of the next triplet, two at the beginning of the next triplet and at the beginning of the next triplet, etc. So for counting, the first half of the exercise would go one and two and three, and then the roll would go one and two and three. So we're going to start at the fast end of that tempo range I just mentioned and then work our way down. We're going to start off first at 88 beats per minute. We're going to do the exercise once through on the pad and then the second time through on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. tempo down to 77 beats per minute so that we have our halfway point between 88 and 66. So here's 77 beats per minute, once on the pad and once on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and four and one and four and one. And then finally for the bottom range of our tempo, we're going to take the tempo all the way down to 66 beats per minute and do it once on the pad and once on the drum to make sure that 16th note triplets are still a good rhythm to use when the tempo is this slow. 66. One and two and three and four and one. Next example that we're going to do is a quarter note roll. So here's the exercise. We're going to do it exactly the same way that we just did the half note. So 88, then 77, then 66. So here we are at 88 beats per minute. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two on the drum and one and three and four and one and three and four and. Now we will 
back the tempo off to 77 beats per minute, just to make sure it still works for us. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Finally, we'll back the tempo off to 66 beats per minute. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. 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 And getting even slower now, we're going to go about as slowly as you can reasonably be asked in a composition to play a role while still playing measure. So we're going to go with a tempo range that is as low as 44 beats per minute and as fast as 66 beats per minute. And for that, 30 second notes is going to be the rhythm that we're going to use. So here's the half note exercise. You can see, just as before, the motions are written out in the first measure, the roll's written out in the second measure, and the motions are written underneath both measures with stems down. If you want an effective way of counting this out, once again, it's actually not possible to count. There is no system for counting every single note that there is now that we're moving our hands so many times per beat. But you can put one at the beginning of the first group of 30 second notes and at the beginning of the next group of 30 second notes, two at the beginning of the next group of 30 second notes, etc. So the first half of the exercise would end up going one and two and three and four, and then the roll would go one and two and three and four and. So we're going to stop, uh, we're going to start at the Top range of that tempo, the fastest range, the fastest part of that tempo range, 66 beats per minute. Then we're going to go down to 55 beats per minute, so that we have the halfway point between 66 and 44. And then we're going to go down to 44 beats per minute. Starting off at 66 beats per minute, once through on the practice pad, once through on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And one. back the tempo down to 55 beats per minute now and we're going to play it out on the pad and on the drum to make sure it's going to work for us on both surfaces one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four slow now, we're going to back it all the way down to 44 beats per minute. Once on the pad, once on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Okay, the quarter note now for our slowest range of tempos, 66 beats per minute, 55 beats per minute, 44 beats per minute. Here is the exercise, uh, 30 second notes on the left, and then the roll on the right. So we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and etc. We're going to start at the top range of that tempo, 66 beats per minute, once on the pad, once on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and three and four and one and three and four and we'll back the tempo down to 55 beats per minute now. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three on the drum and one and three and four and and three and four and now we're gonna back 
our tempo all the way down to 44 beats per minute, which is the slowest one we're going to do in this video study. Once on the pad, once on the drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So, looking at the other end of the spectrum now, we're going to start doing some tempos that are too fast for 16th notes to work properly. So, at the beginning of this video I said that 158 beats per minute-ish is about the highest end of tempo where you would want to use 16th notes. So here's our half note roll example, once again from the beginning of the video. And let's fire up the metronome at 158 beats per minute and see how it feels to try to roll. One, two, three, four. You can see that it looks kind of jagged and tense and uncomfortable. I'm just working too hard. I'm moving my hands too many times. More times than necessary. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work with a slower rhythm. So here is the half note roll exercise where the motions have been written out as eighth note triplets instead of sixteenth notes. So at that tempo, which was about one and three, and three we're going to go one and a two and a three, or one triplet, three, triplet, three, three, or chocolate red thirty three or whatever you like to say for triplets. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do this at a few different tempos, starting at 158 beats per minute. Once on the pad, and then once on the drum. One, two, three, four. One and a two and a three, four. One and a two and a three, four. Four, one and a three, four. And to jack it up a little bit more, let's jack it up to 176 beats per minute. Make sure it's still going to work for us at an even faster tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, four. And that's working fine. So now let's go all the way up to 192 beats per minute, which is probably about as fast as we're going to want to be moving our hands in triplets at for a tempo. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do the quarter note roll example now using triplets. So we got the triplet motion first and the quarter note motion second. So it's only going to be one triplet for the roll. One triplet and then two for the release, one triplet, two for the release. And we're going to start it off at 158 beats per minute, which is the low end of the tempo range that we would want to use for rolling like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. working okay. So let's jack the tempo up to 176 beats per minute now and see how we do there. Once here, once there. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. And that was pretty good as well. So let's jack it all the way up to 192 beats per minute, just like we did with our half note exercise. Once here, once there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Three, four. And for our fastest range of tempos, we're going to work with 192 beats per minute to 300 beats per minute to the quarter note. And most of the time when you're dealing with music that's going by that quickly, it's in cut time or 2-2 two -two time or a la breve time. We're going to keep the metronome set to the quarter note, but I will count these exercises as though we're in cut time. So here's the half note exercise, which I've written out in 2-2 two -two time slash cut time slash a la breve time. You can see the motions are now eighth notes in the first measure of the exercise, and then the half note roll is written out in the second half of the exercise. As usual, the motions are written out with stems down underneath both halves of the exercise. So, we're going to start by discussing how we're going to count this. Obviously, when you're in cut time, the 
eighth note is sort of the new sixteenth note, so eighth notes now become one E and a two E and etc. So the way we'll count this exercise, the first measure and the second measure is going to be one E and a two and one E and a two and. So we're going to start at 192 beats per minute to the quarter note, and we're going to play it out uh, the exercise once on the practice bed and once on the snare drum in order to make sure that it's going to work well for us on both surfaces. So here's 192 beats per minute. Increase the tempo up to 225 beats per minute. One, two, one and two and one and one and two and one and two and one and two and one. All right, and we'll increase the tempo up to 265 beats per minute now. One, two, one and two and one and two and one and two. And one. And finally, we'll bring the tempo all the way up to 300 beats per minute and play it out once here and once here, just to make sure that the system of eight notes is still going to work out well for us. One, two, one and two, and one and two, and one and two. So the same range of tempos that we just did for the half note roll, we're now going to do with a quarter note roll, still using eighth notes. So here's the exercise. First at 192 beats per minute, once on the pad, once on the drum. One, two, one and two, and 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 one and two. Now increasing the tempo to 225 beats per minute, we'll play it out once on the pad, once on the drum. One, two, one and two and 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 it's still working pretty well for us, so now we'll bump the tempo up to 265 beats per minute. One, two, one and two and 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 and now we'll bump the tempo all the way up to 300 beats per minute. 300 to the quarter note. One, two, one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and one and two, and 